How's it going guys? Wimps right here. Um, so I'm gonna be doing a video that I have been wanting to do for a while. Um, I really want to give, um, just talk about underrated YouTubers. I'm not, I'm like not giving them exposure because like most of these people are, um, 10 times better than me. But, um, <laughs> but, um, they're, they're just YouTubers that, um, I don't, I feel like they should have more subscribers than they do. And, uh, a lot of these people aren't necessarily small oof, to say like um some some of these people um have like a million or 2 million i think the most um most subscribed youtuber out of all these people right here has 2.4 million but i think he deserves 10 million he's um it's a he kind of spoil that I'm sure there's no girls on here I'm sexist. Um, <laughs> no, um, all jokes aside, um, so there's no specific order. I got 15. I only found 14 really underrated YouTube channels, but I need, I just decided to do 15 just because, so I can round it out. So all these YouTubers I'm subscribed to, you should probably subscribe to them, and if you know one of these guys, um, can't. You can't talk about it in the comments because they got disabled by YouTube because YouTube loves me. Um, but anyway, I'll just go down the list and, um, in no specific order of how much I rank them, but, yeah. Okay, number 15 is Palana Productions. I can never pronounce the first thing, P P Palana. So basically, they're a WWE YouTube channel, and this is like the wild card where I don't think they're underrated. They have 200,000 subscribers, which I think is a good, good thing. I think they might, he might should have like 500,000 subscribers, but I think he's good where he's at. Um, he does WWE videos, um, he does the, how, how a WWE wrestler gets ruined, or how he books stuff, and he's always, um, he's always known for having really hot, hard hard about it really big hot takes on wrestling and don't know what that was um but there is big wrestling um he has his wrestling opinions really interesting to me and yeah i like him coming in at number 14 is dj cook he's he exposes bad youtubers like morgs he probably got morgs like a shit ton of exposure because it because of his videos but he does the meet the youtuber series where he supposed them um if you might not recognize his name you might you might know his old name which is kados or kadox but some other youtuber had it and he was like bigger than him so he had to take it down and it's kind of messed up but eh. kadox I, I forgot what it was something like that Anyway, number 13 is the one and only Liam Thompson, who has a million subscribers, but I think he should have there. I've been with him since, like, 100,000 subscribers, since a long time. I remember the first day he posted his, um, so it's most known for his dog, um, dog series where he teaches his dog to do human stuff, and I think his most videos, like, has, like, 10 million views. It got, like, a hit, and it was, um, teaching his dog to play Minecraft. Or defeat the ended dragon. But I remember when that video came out. So I'm, I'm glad how he saw him grow. And he's a really, really underrated YouTuber. And um, he does other stupid videos. <laughs> and he lives in New Zealand. Which is... I like New Zealand. Anyways. um, Coming in at number 12. This company man. This dude is really educational. He probably teaches more and more stuff than me. Than all the schools did. I think he has a million subscribers, but he does, um, ooh, excuse me, he does, um, the videos, um, what is it, how do I explain it, he does, like, um, videos on brands, so how, how successful, his most famous series is the rise, fall, and rise again of a brand, like McDonald's, for example, I don't know, <laughs> But, um, anyways, coming in number 11 is RBT. He does Madden videos. He has 800,000 subscribers. Yeah, he's pretty close to a mil, and I've, I've also watched him rise from, like, 100,000 subscribers, so that's really cool when you, when you see, like, a relatively small YouTuber just become huge. It's, it's really nice to see, you know, 
Because you were there with him since the beginning and just a grind. Um, but he posts Madden videos. He Madden science um, is like what he's known for. Uh, spoiling a little bit. Oh, I know. This is, yeah. Um, coming in at number 10, it's, um, Watts World, who does, um, he has, like, does he have even 100,000 subscribers? Yeah, I think he's the smallest YouTuber on this list, but he deserves a million. I can't believe how he's not huge yet, dude. He's, um, he is, uh, I know he's gonna be huge, but he's, he does the, um, a lot of football videos, Madden, and then does TikTok skits. I don't, I don't really like TikTok, um, so he, like, posts them on his YouTube channel, I just watch him do that, um, but he has really funny videos, and he deserves a lot of subscribers, and he's recently been vlogging, and the vlogs are pretty good. Okay, coming in at number nine is Zexy Zek. I think he might be the biggest YouTuber, I don't know, it's between him and this other person, but I think the other person's bigger, but Zexy Zek, I think, has two million subscribers. I haven't heard about him a lot in the community and YouTube community, but um, he does um, Skate 3 videos, and this man has been keeping Skate 3 relevant ugh, after this, like, seven years, but he does the Skate 3 challenge videos where he watches challenges and then he tries to recreate them until he does it. For example, his today's video he spent in two days, not even a day, spent two days trying to do a... Um, was it? Was it twelve eighty? Is that what it's called? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't know how to do math, but um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he did a twelve eighty. Um. Anyways, um, number A is I think probably. The, the second most underrated YouTuber on this list, and he, he would be the most if the this YouTuber had more subscribers, but Jack sucks at life. Man, give it up. Just give it up for this man. He's um, known for the Play Button series. If you watch KSI, um, he's known for um, tricking YouTuber into giving him a diamond, um, diamond play button. Um, before he, um, before he has, he only has, like, one million subscribers, so, yeah, and put, he put KSI's name on it, so he has a KSI diamond play button, which is <laughs> really cool, but I think, um, his entire channel is based off of, like, YouTube experiments and subscribers and most subscribers, like, for example, subscribe to don't subscribe, so we can get that to one million subscribers, and it's, it's also, it's a Mr. Beast channel, so that might interest you, um, yeah, if he gets a million subscribers, he gives away a shit ton of money, and, um, to charity and stuff like that, so, eh, how about charity and subscribe to don't subscribe, okay, um, but yeah, I think he a lot of people multi-subscribed where they make like ten thousand accounts and subscribe to him. What they so what they do with PewDiePie? That's why like he just went from seventy mil to a hundred mil, and he got like thirty million subscribers just out of the blue because it went huge, and everybody just made a whole bunch of accounts. Every account that they saw, they subscribed to PewDiePie. Anyways. Um, coming in at number seven is Polosaurus Rex, who I think has 600 subscribers, and I think he's rising. I think this man might be the next Mr. Beast. Like, I won't be shocked if in, like, two years, not, maybe two, two years from now, he has five mil. He does the, um, memes of the month, and he, his comedy is really funny. He does sarcastic comedy, um, so, um, yeah, it's pretty funny, um. I don't really, really know what to subscribe to his channel. He just does random shit. But yeah, um, coming in at number six, um, one of I think it, this is the biggest YouTuber on on this list is Oompaville, who is I think deserves ten million subscribers. He deserves a lot more subscribers than he does right now. He's a really funny dude. I think he's probably one of the most funniest YouTubers out there. Um. I would, it would be fantastic for me to do a collab, I'm not a collab, what the fuck am I talking about, I have 15 subscribers, um, but, um, you know, I think it would just be fun to just, you know, I don't know, say hi to him, I, I, I don't know, he does, um, reactions to random video, I don't know if they're react, I don't, 
I really don't know how to explain it. I don't know how the fuck to explain his channel. Just go watch it. And then just, just yeah. <laughs> Oompaville. Alright, coming in at number five, top five, even though these aren't rankings, um, Halftime Productions, who has 100,000 subscribers, and they, um, who, I thought they did, I thought he had, like, maybe a million, like, maybe 900,000, I didn't think he had 100,000, I think he deserves a lot more, he does, um, he does to the 2K, um, playoff predictions, like, Trading every single point guard to a different team and seeing how it th how the season plays out. So that that means like the Knicks can get LeBron and they win the championship, or you know, um, LeBron like you know, LeBron or all time teams face against each other in the playoffs. That's basically what it is. Um, but he does really interesting videos. I like his videos. I like to... And, he, and recently, he's been doing Madden ones. Which is interesting. <laughs> and coming in at number four is Nasher, who has 600,000 subscribers. Yeah, I think maybe 500,000. Close to 600,000. I'll just round it up to that. Um, So, he does hockey videos. This man single-handedly got me into hockey. So, thank you, because it's one of my favorite sports. Um... I don't really know a lot about it. I'm still kind of new. This is my second season of watching hockey. Last season was my first, and then it got cut in half. And a really sucky way to spend spend your first season. But um, but yeah, Nasher has been um a pretty good YouTuber. He does um real life hockey videos. He does test on stuff, and he plays NHL 21. What he does? Okay, but anyways, coming in at number three, in my opinion, the most underrated YouTuber out there who I think deserves 10 million subscribers and he only has 200,000 subscribers is the great one or the greatness TV if you want um he did he, did, he barely posts on that and that's like his like main commentary channel but the great one is his wrestling channel and I like wrestling and he's just the most funniest guy I've been watching him since 2016, just a 16-year-old kid in his bedroom. Now he's married and have a kid. Just crazy watching this guy, you know, just grow up and become an adult. And it's been great to see. Um, but I've been there since the start. Since he barely had, like, 50,000 subscribers. Um, but it's great to see how he's grown. And he deserves 10 million subscribers. He's a really funny dude. If he... If he posts more on Greatness TV, I think he would have a million on that channel just because he's a really funny YouTuber. And, yeah. Anyway, it's coming at number two. Kind of my idol. Not really my idol, but it's my videos are closely similar to him. Um, I'm basically the next fuzzy. You know, fuzzy. I've been trying to grow out a fuzzy beard. Puberty. Um, because I want a beard, but, um, but Fuzzy, um, of course, my channel's pretty similar to him. We talk about baseball, you know, <laughs> um, I watch him every day, watch his MLB recaps. I think he deserves, eh, I think he's good where he's at. I, I just think he's underrated in the way, like, you know, it's baseball's not, it's sad to say, but baseball is not that big where you can get, like, a lot of followers, which is really sad to say, but I think he deserves, like, a million, um, just, uh, yeah, um, fuzzy, um, fuzzy, um, I would love to collab, I don't know why I'm saying collab, like, I would ever collab with them, but, um, yeah, um, fuzzy, I look up to him, and he's a pretty, and I don't really look up to him, but he's not, um, by the way, if you want to know, my favorite YouTuber is, um, Faze Rug, just so you know. Um, so, that's the thing. He has 18 million subscribers, so how can he be underrated? <laughs> but, yeah. Fuzzy's number two. And coming in at number one, the most, the, the biggest channel, YouTube channel that I've been on, I'm pretty sure you probably know, Pretty sure he's the third most subscribed out of anybody on this list. Um, you might know from a later video, all three of those people that viewed that video. It's probably one of my worst viewed video ever. No game, 4-3-2-1.
I, I, <laughs> I think he's underrated. I think he deserves five mil. Um, of course, I'm kind of biased because I was in no game video. Um, you know, I did shit, and he called my mic trash, which is one of my greatest moments of my life. But um, anyway, so number one is no game four three two one. I love his videos. It's I don't really know what to say. Um. No game four three two one is um Call of Duty hide and seek YouTuber. I talked about him before. I don't know. Probably shouldn't do like a YouTuber. I probably should have done like Oompaville number one or Jack. Anyways, that's the video for today. Um, hope you like the list. Hopefully, I got you into some of these YouTubers that um maybe interest you. Um. I feel like the most one that I'm pretty sure you guys would like is Oompaville. He just does random shit. Hopefully, I get these YouTubers a couple more subscribers from this video. And, um, this might be a little bit different from my MLB videos. I can't tell in the comments. Um, dislike the shit out of this if you want more MLB, if you want more MLB videos. Just so, just to see. Um, and like it if you enjoyed this content. Um, hopefully you like it. Um. Yeah, it sucks that I can't have comments because I can't interact with you. I don't know if it's shit or not. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to see you guys later. Bye.